winning is a byproduct, you want to focus on the product called effort. There's four P's to a, to a great leader. The first one is planning, which we covered a lot this morning. You need to really plan out your team, plan out your vision, plan out your company. Specifically, smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, results oriented, timely goals. Preparation. What sort of preparation needs to be done for the planning? What sort of education needs to be happen? happen? What sort of training needs to occur? Practice. The, the more you practice, the better you get. That's why people model um, great people's behaviour or great outcomes. Like one of my friends, she does her company is modelling. And what they've yeah, done is the massive coal trucks that line up. And I mean, this is a billion dollar operation there. So they're all lined up and they have to dump the coal. Well, some of them dump it in two seconds and some of them dump it in 30 seconds. So they're trying to model the behaviour of the ones that dump it in two seconds. So every, there will be a lineup of 500 trucks. So they're trying to get it because every second that it takes to dump is like millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars. So if they model that, they actually add to the bottom line. So it totally makes sense. And of course, performance. And I love this quote. And this is from The Art of War. When the best leader's work is done, the people will say, we did it ourselves. Because a great leader will inspire the team through their heart that it is their, that it's their idea, they came up with it, it's their work. Okay. Getting to the top is arduous. Staying there is even more difficult. So even if you are at the top and you've got a great company, a great team, you still have to work to maintain that position. It's easy to knock you off. And it's not about competing with others. Again, it's about being the best that you can be. The most effective leaders understand failure is a necessary ingredient of success. I couldn't agree with that more. My biggest you know, failure in business sense has actually landed me in my biggest success because I see the red flags before my clients see them. So if a client comes to me and says, I'm not getting a partnership agreement, I might stop the coaching. There's no way I'll move forward with a client if they don't have a partnership agreement, if they're moving forward in that. Because in the case of like death, disability or disagreement, there's no plan. So the whole thing can just go down the toilet. So I wouldn't, and that's what happened to me. If I didn't have a correct business partnership agreement, lost a lot, lost a million dollars. So it's a lot of it's a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. So I know the things not to do, so I can red flag them for my clients. Be sure you're wrong before you quit. I love this one. So you're barking up the wrong tree, going, it's not working, it's not working with the team, we're not getting ahead, blah, blah, blah. You know. Maybe you just don't have the right approach. Like, make sure you are wrong before you quit because maybe you could be this close. You could be that close. So get some advice, educate yourself, do something to make sure that you're wrong before you quit. In the end, the choice you make makes you. And I'm all about, my biggest fear is being vulnerable and being exposed. And here I am being vulnerable and being exposed. But more so than that is not knowing what I'm made of. So when I coach, I coach my clients to see what they're made of and for them to shine. Um, when I'm through learning, I'm through. I like that, of course. You're going to be learning until the day that you die. So as a great leader, you want to encourage your team to be educated and you want to encourage them, send them on courses, teach them, train them, show them, and always have an open ear. Never allow anyone else to define your success. So it doesn't, this is a really key one as well in leadership because other people might have an understanding of you from your history, from schooling or relationships or jobs that you've had, and they'll go, oh, you know, I understand that you can have a company that's worth 200,000, that should be, that, that, that's you. But maybe your vision is 20 million, why not? Like it, you're only limited by your belief and don't buy into the beliefs of others. Yes, you can listen to it, but just know where you're going. Organisation success when they become more than the sum of their players. So it is, it's the total, the total team that builds success.